key thing that the digital spatial profiling technology allows that couldn't be done previously is that we can just ask almost an unlimited type of question that we have on our, we had a single tissue slice that we're gonna image and analyze. Uh, and this is typically from a tumor that somebody has or some special sample that's been biobanked away. And we can ask a series of questions now that were absolutely impossible to answer before the digital spatial profiler come out. So the kinds of things we can answer are things like, what entire biological pathways are happening in this little region of space on that particular tumor? And how do those biological pathways change when I look at the other side of the tumor? I can ask, what are these invading immune cells doing? How are they activated and what type of activation are they having? And then how does the tumor try to turn it off? So these are these high level biological questions that we can now answer in the microscope and measure in the microscope that were totally uncalled of. You couldn't answer that. You couldn't ask that question. You couldn't make the measurements even before the digital spatial profiler was made.